Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have with us the Nanoleaf lines. This is their newest product. And these lines are totally different from the light panels and the shapes that we've seen before. These lights uses the aid of the walls behind them to reflect the light on it to give it a more subtle glow. So before I start with this video, this product was kindly sent to me by Nanoleaf Singapore. So a big thank you to them. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel yet, do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you guys want notifications on new videos. And uh, let's begin with the video. So I have to admit that this isn't the first time I'm seeing the Nanoleaf lines. I've actually gone down to a launch event in Singapore where Nanoleaf showcased all their range of products and especially highlighting the Nanoleaf lines. They had these really big patterns on the walls which I think took up to maybe 15 uh, of these lines and it looks spectacular. It's honestly a very nice design and something that's very different from their original light panels. So we have the starter kit with us today. This is a nine pack. It has nine lines in there and that will kind of get you started on this series of light panels. Uh, there is an extension kit that gives you another three lines and of course uh, there's an additional cost to that. So this one costs around the same price as the Nanoleaf shapes at the time of this video. Um, so it's not that much different, but I think this is a drastic improvement and I think it's really cool. It's different from the direct lights that you get from the shapes or the panels. This one gives a very subtle glow, like I said, it bounces off the walls. Uh, and when you turn it off, of course, it tries to blend in with the wall and that's why it starts with a white. So first thing inside the box, you'll see a nice greeting card along with some recommended patterns or suggestions for you to try out. But of course, you can use the Nanoleaf app. It has its own visualizer in there that you can use to decide the pattern that you want. So underneath this card, you'll find the nine strips of lights. These lines are coated in a matte white finish and has an LED strip on the back. This LED layer is covered with a diffusion strip so that you don't get the little LED dots shining on your walls. Instead, it gives you a more even glow. So next up, you'll find the nine mounting connectors as well as nine connector caps. These will allow you to assemble and connect your lines into your desired patterns. You'll also get a controller cap that allows you to manually control your lights as well as the power connector and the power supply unit. So with all that out of the box, you can start to decide how you want to form up your patterns or your design. Like I said, you can use the AR function in the Nanoleaf app that will allow you to visualize it on your room wall or you can even just use the simple builder to just build your shapes if you can visualize that on your own. Now, the first thing that you'll notice when you're assembling these patterns uh, on your table, on your floor, is that it has a bit of wiggle room and that brought up some concerns. Basically, the alignment of these joints were not as accurate as I would like them to be. I do understand that there has to be some flexibility in the design and the way these joints are created, but it does pose a problem when you're gonna mount these on the walls. But Nanoleaf does recommend that you form up your triangular shapes or hexagonal shapes, you know, shapes that depend on very accurate locations of the joints. You should assemble them on the ground and stick them on the wall all at once. So that's exactly what I did and it turned out honestly pretty well. So that being said, I do recommend that everyone check out the manual if you are buying these. They actually do state the best way to mount these lights. So mounting these lines on the walls are very similar to mounting the light panels that we did before. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, you guys can go check it out over here. But back to the lines, there are these double-sided adhesives that are on the back of these connectors and you simply take them out and stick them on the wall. But do remember to clean off your wall of dust and any dirt before doing so or it might not adhere to the wall properly. So the way that I've done my mounting was that I assembled my full pattern and used one or two connectors just to start off the adhesion. Once the first two mounts were secured onto the wall, I proceeded to do the other joints. Now I must say that my pattern was somewhat stable because it had many connective joints but if you guys have a less stable pattern, I would recommend doing it in segments uh, doing the most complex one and the most rigid one first following by the least rigid ones. So once you have all the lights installed, it's pretty simple to pair it with the app. There is a QR code on the power brick itself which you can use to scan and connect it to the app. Alternatively, there is also an NFC tag inside the power connector and you can also use that as well. Now, one of the things that I really like about Nanoleaf products is that they have the smart layout detection function that allows the app to understand how your light panels are laid out. 
This is also aided by the connector that has very different connection points on the hexagon itself that lets it know which parts are connected and how it's linked to one another. Within each line, it's able to display up to two colors at once or two different gradients. That allows you a bit more flexibility with the patterns that you create or also allows the different change in gradients. Similar to the Nanoleaf shapes and panels, these lights also have screen mirroring which allows you to reflect the light off your screen and create a more immersive effect. However, you do have to download the Nanoleaf desktop app for this to work. Also similarly to the Nanoleaf shapes and panels, these lines have the Rhythm Music Visualizer which is very easy to use and a simple touch of a button activates it. Alternatively, you can download some presets of the app or create your own visualizers. So the Nanoleaf lines are a new product line on its own and they cannot be connected to the Nanoleaf shapes or panels. However, it does come with some new accessories that are slowly rolling out and depending on your country, these might be already available in your stores. So the first thing is the extension cable which allows you to form these patterns on the wall and continue it on a ceiling. So these 90 degree turns requires a longer extension cable for you to bend that turn and I think that gives you a few more options into how you want to lay out your design. Another accessory that is unique to only the lines is called skins. Now there are only two variants of these skins available on the store at the moment. One is the pink and one is the black. These skins were meant to give you a more accentuated color. For example, like the pink, it doesn't exactly blend into a pink wall, but it allows you to define the lines a lot better and also makes it a lot more visible when the lights of the lines are turned off. As for the black skin, I think it's primarily meant to blend in with black walls or even use it as an accent like before. Now using the black skin is a bit limiting unless you have a solid black wall that matches that skin, it wouldn't really blend. Like for example, I have these grey walls at the back and I did think of buying these black skins to blend it in but I have my suspicions that it will not blend in as expected. Now the one thing I found strange about these skins is that it does cover most of the surfaces of the lines except for the controller. The controller remains white and I don't think they include a black or pink controller with these skins. So that's a bit strange because if you want everything to be camouflaged, black or pink, you would include a black or pink controller. The other thing that I noticed is that uh, on these joints, you see these joints have these covers, only the covers will be in the skin color, whereas there's nothing for the connectors, which means if you buy the black skin, only the joint covers will be in black, but you won't have anything to paste around uh, the main body of the joint itself, which remains white. So that's a bit strange. However, that being said, I think there's more room for improvements and these skins are still rolling out. They might be still under development, but we'll wait for that and see. Another accessory that is rumored to be released is that they will be coming out with a different set of joints. Now, these joints are hexagon shapes, which means you are limited in uh, the way you are designing your patterns, which means it can only go in a uh, 60 degree triangles or a hexagonal shape but they might be releasing right angle ones, which means square connectors, which allows you a lot more patterns and a lot more flexibility, possibly even combining hexagon and square joints. But like I said, these are just rumors that I've heard and uh, don't take my word for it. So with that all being said, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of these new lights. First of all, these are less direct lights, which means the lights are less harsh. It doesn't glare as much as the panels or the shapes, and that gives you a better accent glow. It makes it a more subtle light that isn't too strong or harsh, and that's very suitable for people who don't want something too flashy. The smaller joint mount also means that less is adhered to your surface, which also helps to make the product a lot more minimalistic and neat. Now, with all the pros said, there are some cons that I should mention to you guys. So like I said earlier in the video, I did go down to the launch event which I saw very huge displays of these lines and they look very impressive for one main reason. It's more than 9 lines. The 9 lines that you're gonna get might be enough for a small room but if you're thinking of doing something more extravagant like a backdrop piece for your studio or for your um, shop, these nine lines aren't going to be enough. You're going to have to buy more extension packs. Speaking of the expansion packs that comes in trees, um, back to the skins. The skins only comes in packs of nine, which means if you want your extension packs to be covered in the same skins, you're going to have to buy another pack of nine. Not too sure why. 
So last but not least, another con that I mentioned earlier is the wiggle room in these joints. Now, I do think that this isn't such a big deal, but it does need some care in the way you're going to mount these. Do read the instructions carefully and follow them. They are very helpful. And uh, these mountings are going to be a bit different from the ones that we're used to in the panels or shapes. So that's all I have to say about these Nano Leaf lines. I think they are a great product. It's going to look really cool in my room. I think it's a very one of a kind product that um, is very impressive. Some people have even mounted it on the ceiling, which is pretty extravagant. But that's all I have to say about it. If you guys have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. But if not, leave a like in this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.